Can you see me? Yes, I see you. Can you see me? Can you see me? Can you see me? Hey guys, it's Robert Jones here in the kitchen again making another, what is this? I think this is part four of Thanksgiving holiday meal treat. Today we're going to do a butternut squash with apples and nuts and honey. It's a whole goodness kind of thing. Almost a casserole if you will. So basically we're going to take squash and apples and nuts and honey and butter. We're going to put it in the oven and bake it and it's going to be delicious. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I've got a 9 by 13 pan here. I'm just going to put a touch of oil in the bottom just so the squash doesn't stick. If you want, you can use butter. You can use whatever you want, because later we're going to be using butter. But I'm just smashing some oil around. I don't have any cooking spray. Put that oil down there. Then we're going to take, this is going to be two pounds. You can make this a half recipe. You can make it one pound if you want. Two pounds of squash, just like that in the pan. Then we have two Granny Smith apples. You can use a different apple if you want. This is what I had and it should hold up in the, in the oven. And we're just going to sprinkle this over the top. If you want to put this in a bigger pan, you can too. Now we're going to put this in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes at 400 degrees, which should be enough to soften the squash most of the way. Then we're going to come back and we'll put the topping on it and we'll put it back in the oven. While our squash is baking in the oven, and our apples, uh, we're gonna have we're gonna take a bowl here. This is six tablespoons of just melted butter. Just pop that in the microwave for a couple minutes. We're going to add to that six tablespoons of honey. It's about a little bit more than that. This is a, it looks funny because it's uh, crystallized, but it doesn't matter because it's gonna just be melted on it. Put that there. We have a half a cup of walnuts. You can substitute pecans or almonds or whatever you like, depending on your nut allergy, or you can just omit this all together. There's some nuts. And then in here we have a teaspoon of cinnamon and a teaspoon of nutmeg. You guys can see that. And that goes in there too. And then we're just gonna stir this up. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, we're just going to let this sit for a couple minutes, and then when the squash comes out, we will pour this over the top and put the squash back in the oven. All right, here's what uh, 25 minutes looks like. Let's give this a little stir. See how we're doing, making a mess. Now, I don't think my oven was quite at temperature, but that's okay. It's uh, warm enough. The squash is cooked. Just giving it a, oh, it is cooked. Yeah, that's cooking good. Give that a little stir. Throw these back in. All right, we have our butter nut mixture here. I'm going to put this back in the oven for another 10 minutes. Alright, how autumnal um, does that look? And can you see it boiling? It is bubbling and boiling. That looks pretty darn good to me. Alright, you can see we got a little bit crispy on top. It looks good. We've got squash, we've got apples. All kinds of goodness. I mean, put that on the table. And you know what would make this even crazy good? Maybe like some Asiago cheese. Like give it a little savoriness. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to give it a taste. I like the extra done bit. So let's take a little bit from the side. Ooh, it is hot. Can you see that? All right. The moment you've been waiting for. Ooh, this is hot. Alright, taking a tiny bit here because it's really hot. You see the steam? Mmm. You guys. 
that tastes like fall in your mouth. All right, I'm gonna take a bigger bite with more goodies, more nuts, more apples, more squash. Mmm. This would be a really good Thanksgiving thing. Or a Thursday night like it is now. Wow, my mouth is still tingling from all the spices and goodness in that. I hope you guys try this squash dish. It's really easy to make. I mean, literally there's like five minutes of prep time. The hardest thing is cutting up an apple, so try it. Thanks, you guys. I uh, really appreciate you being here on my channel. This is Eudaimonius Mark II, E-U-D-A-E-M-O-N-I-U-S, Mark II, I-I. You can find me there on Facebook as well. I hope you guys are subscribing and liking and doing all that kind of stuff. If you are enjoying this video, spread the word. Let me know what else I can do for you guys. Thanks, you guys. Bye. Wow, my mouth is still tingling from the spices in the, in the, uh, wow, my mouth is still spices.